summer. That means we're coming to a community near you. Today, we're taking you for a trip through Williamsville. We're going to show you everything the village has going on. And right now, Williamsville is getting ready to kick off old home days. So Twila Nugent is there talking to the owners of Sweet Jenny's to find out how it's a growing part of the community. Hey, Twila, good morning to you. Howard and Tarek are with you, right? Good morning, Ed and Katie. We're inside the historical water mill, which now is no longer a water mill, but actually a sweet shop. And we've got some ice cream churning right now. Tell us a little bit about Sweet Jenny's and how much ice cream you guys are making during this time of year, Ellen. Well, this time of the season, we're probably going through 30 to 50 batches a day. I'll go home one day and the next day I come in and the freezer's empty. So then we'll have to start the whole process all over again. Gosh. So constantly, the lines are to the back of the store, and people always love ice cream. And what are we making right now? Butterfinger ice cream. We all love Butterfinger. Would what you would, like? Go ahead. What would you say is one of your best-selling flavors here? Probably our salted caramel truffle. That's one of our staple flavors that we have all the time. Um, our orange chocolate ice cream, because we don't. You don't see that very often in other places, so our orange chocolate is very popular. Absolutely. I mean, the building itself is such a spectacle to come see, but also to get homemade ice cream. What is it like being able to work in this that was once so old, but now it's something new? It is phenomenal. I absolutely love this building. Every day I'm seeing a new feature in it. If I look up or down, it's just the age of the building is just phenomenal. I'm just honored to be able to work here. And have never been here, why would you recommend they come? It's a destination. It's not just ice cream, it's not just chocolate, there's a comic book shop, just the history of the building and you think of what went on back in 1811 and how much has happened since that time and uh, it's just wonderful. People just come in to look at the building themselves, you know, so. Absolutely. And we're celebrating Williamsville all day today. This is the first stop on our On the Road series, and we're going to be having so much fun here, and we've got a lot to show you this morning, so stay with us. We're live here in Williamsville. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. I can tell you why I stop in. <laughs> for the ice cream, Katie? It's for the sponge candy. Uh -huh. They have such good sponge candies. Yeah. 